Hey, what's up everybody? David Burns. Glad to be with you again for another beekeeping video. And a few days ago, I installed some packages. I guess it's been about a week ago. And uh, it turned off really cold here in Illinois. So I was concerned about whether the queens were going to get released or kind of be left out there um, in their cages. Maybe surrounded by bees, maybe not. So I don't recommend this, but about a day later, I think it was about 24 hours later, I went in to my uh, packages and I uh, began to inspect the queens, make sure they're doing okay, and they were already released. I was really surprised, except one package, one hive I installed was not released yet. The queen was still in her cage, but she was not moving. There were some bees on her cage, but not many, and it was cold. so. I pulled the cage up and I wish I was videotaping it. I just didn't have my video camera with me at the time. It would have been great for you to have seen that. But anyway, I opened up her queen cage and there she was and she was not moving. You would say she was dead. I know you would. Um, I dumped her out of my hand. I opened the cage up, opened, opened the cage, dumped her in my hand and there she was and she wasn't moving. But when I looked closely, I noticed a slight movement in her abdomen. So I knew she was just really cold. Now the bees were over uh, in the frames, kind of, uh, they were gathered up on the top, clustered up. They were down on the frames, but you know how they, they were covering the, the space between the frames really well. I, I just grabbed the queen and I laid her between the frames and she just fell onto all the bees and laid there on top of the bees, not moving. And I thought, oh no, she may fall all the way through, but the bees were so thick that she didn't fall through, and they began to kind of take care of her. And I said, oh well, you know, I, I did what I can do, so that's it, I put the top on. Today, I'm gonna walk you through a video of me uh, about three or four, five days later, I think the timing's right. I went back in to look at it today, and here's what I found. Okay, so you can see this is the hive where I just dropped the queen out of her cage because she was limp. And I've got a feeder on that I'm taking off now. Um, and there the bees are. So what I want to do now is just kind of, oh yeah, look at this. See how I push the pollen patty through and it makes this great little squares of pollen. The bees are up there just eating it away. Look how much they've already eaten on the one side. Boy, that's really been good for the bees this winter. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is take some of these uh, new foundation. Uh, they're not drawn out yet, so there's no bees on these. I'm just removing those to get closer to where the cluster is. And uh, it's about uh, 50, 55 degrees outside now that I'm, I'm taking these frames out. Now this is where the bulk of the, the bees are right now, this new package that was installed a little over a week ago. And you can see on this frame how many bees are just hanging on there, piled on top of each other. They're kind of cold. That would be a hard frame to find the queen on. And it's pretty unlikely that she would be on that frame. And so, um, because it doesn't have the bulk of the bees on it. So I'm looking, I want to find my queen. Is that queen that I dumped in there okay? Now this is a plastic uh, it's a plastic frame, plastic everything. Some people say they're kind of weird to use these with wood, but I never have any problems. Okay, so look at all that, yikes. Uh, how can you find the queen there, right? Well, leave it up to me. I will find the queen if she's in there. Oh, looks like, yep, there she is. Do you see her? Keep looking, it's hard to see, but you can see her kind of a orange abdomen. I'll, I'll keep moving some bees away so you can see her. So this is good news. That bee that was limp, the queen that was all kind of cold. See her right there? Up on top of the comb. Maybe I'll uh, point an arrow so you can kind of trace her. She's going in and out and bees are climbing on my finger because uh, they like to stand on my finger, I guess. Um, let's keep trying to get a better image of her here so you can... I want you to know that my queen is okay. See her down in there? She's right there. <laughs> okay, let me try harder. Let's see if we can work her down to the bottom. Maybe I can get her off of this comb and onto the black frame. Push her, keep directing her downward. So some of you are probably thinking, it's so hard to find the queen. And it's really tough. Um, 
but you just have to get, develop a skill for finding the queen. Um, I'm kind of looking into some of these cells to see if I see any eggs that she's laid yet, but let's, let's go back to see if we can, if I can show you what the queen is, is doing, what she looks like. All right, hang on, she's kind of at the top there. Let me just push her down onto the comb, or uh, off of the comb onto the black part of the frame. All right. See her right there at the top, right here at the end of my finger. See her right there? Come on, people, you can see her. Move out of the way, bees. Give the queen some room. Okay, you see her now, don't you? She's on the black part of the frame. <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm I'm gonna get serious here. <laughs> get these bees off my hand. All right, now she's walking back up on the comb. So let me get situated here. I'll just pick her up for you. How's that? Let me just pick this queen up. There she is. All right, I got her. Now I'm holding her. That's proof, isn't it? If I just hold her up there and say, "Here's the queen," nobody cares that I'm holding her. Now I'll just put her back down, and you can watch her walk back toward the bees. There she goes. Okay. Whew. Isn't that amazing? That it, I'm excited that queen is okay because, like I said, she was in her cage and it was pretty cold and the bees weren't really over there as much as they should have been to keep her warm and I was worried about her. And, uh, boy, she's doing really good now. So that's fun. Now let's look at this comb. This is undrawn foundation. Are they drawing out any of the of this uh, foundation. Are they adding their wax to it? Are they bringing anything in? So let's just move some bees around and we'll take a look. Now they're busy working. I take my finger and I kind of twirl it in a circle. Oh, they have been adding some comb. Look at that pollen right there. And there's nectar down in the cells. Glistening nectar. So that's really cool. I'm excited. As much cold weather as we've had, as much rain as we've had, those bees have been working. I think feeding them has really helped too. Uh, putting that top feeder on and getting them some pollen patty and some one-to-one -one sugar water. You always want to feed one-to-one -one sugar water in the spring. So this hive is just about as good as it's going to get. Now, and look at those chickens in the background. Hey, we're cleaning up your dead bees, David. Yeah, that's, there's the chickens doing some yard detail back there. All right, little guys, you need to get back in. Can't hang over the edge. I'm going to smash you if you sit there. Let me move my camera. Now, just scoop them off with your finger kind of gingerly. As long as you don't smash them, bees don't mind being moved around a little bit. So, i just move them out of the way. i got to put my feeding system back on the top now. And I uh, need to load them back up. And I'll do that. Now, I want to show you one more thing that I thought was interesting when I was walking back from doing that particular hive. I noticed there was a bee on these, um, I think they're either raspberry or blackberry. Can't, I can't tell the difference. I'm going to say blackberry. Um, and look at that. There's a bee working, and I thought, oh, cool, I can watch this bee working this flower. But then as I watched, I thought, oh, she's moving kind of slow. Is she really working that flower? So I, I decided to kind of, you know, I got to look closer. Let, let me adjust my camera and I can kind of see what's going on here. Hang on, I'm just going to zoom out so that I can carry my camera closer in. Take a more of a zoom in look. Yeah, she's definitely not going at this the way most bees would. So I'm starting to conclude that she is cold this is late in the day after sunset so she probably flew to this flower when it was warmer it didn't really get much above um, 59 degrees today and so she's kind of cold now and so what we're going to do i'm going to just pick her up because look at that not really moving uh she, if a bee was warm she would have flown when i touched her but she's not flying so how about i just i would just pick her up by her wings Let's see if I can grab a hold of her without being stung. All right, so I'm getting ready to get my uh, camera position just right. Here I go. I'm going to just grab her back wing. Okay, I missed. Let me try to do it again. Uh, back wing, I got her. Okay, so there she is. Now let's just walk over. I don't know where, what hive she came out of, but 
Here's bees going in. Let's see if we can just let her walk in there and get warm. Go, 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 go. You can do it. Yay. All right. Well, that's how you rescue bees, people, if you ever want to get bees off of flowers that get turned too cold. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I like to give you something on a regular basis. Things that I'm looking at, things that I find enjoyable. I hope you found it enjoyable today, too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.